Okay, so I just gave you the introduction or my little background about myself. So I'm just going to tell you how I'm going to go about becoming an oral maxillofacial surgeon. So as I just explained to you, there are two ways of doing this. You can either be a dentist first or a doctor first. So my route is a, do is a doctor first route. So as a doctor, I have to now go back to dental school for three to five years uh, to enter the UK or to enter any higher surgical training in the Caribbean, you need to have a postgraduate qualification. So after the DDS or the doctors and doctor in dental surgery degree, you then go on to do the membership of the Royal College of Surgery examination, which I've just done the second part, which is the OSCE part, and I'm awaiting results for that. And then after that, you have to go on to do the membership of the Faculty of Dental um, Surgery examination, which is the MFDS examination, but I have to do that after I'm finished dentistry. In the UK, what they do is that they then go on to enter a training post or SD1 or student or a core training post and it can range from one straight through to ten or, up, or eight or I think it's eight to ten. Um, what they do is they are getting on the job training, continuous assessments and then they are learning basic surgical skills in that time. From the dental to the medical route the medical route require after you do the, the, the medical degree, after dental degree, you then have to go on to do um, basic, well, your foundation year one and two, then you have to do your core surgical training skills, which requires about a year to do general surgery to get your surgical principles underway. If you do the medicine first and then you do the dental route, you have to then do the same exams, yes, but you have to then undergo. Um, Depending on what you did if, with your first degree, you might have to then go and still do the core surgical training um, because that one year is required, that general surgery, one to two years of general surgery training is required because you need general surgery no matter what. If if you're becoming a neurosurgeon, an orthopedic surgeon, a cardiothoracic surgeon, you require general surgery um, or surgical principles in general. So... Like I said, my route is dent is medicine to dentistry. So after I'm finished dentistry, my plan is just to do the MFDS and I'm going to apply for a post to work in the UK if possible. Don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to try to work in the UK um, via the MFDS as well as the MRCS, which will both give me general medical council registration as well as a general dental council registration. That's the plan. However, if that doesn't work, I still, I, I, I'm still not beaten because I can still work in the Caribbean and gather experience. And after maybe four to five years, I'll apply and do the Fellowship of the Royal College of Surgery examination, which is the oral and maxillofacial surgery examination to join the, to become a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons. And after that route, I'm then going to try to either do head and neck surgery, or I was actually looking possibly at doing craniofacial abnormalities, you know, operating on abnormalities when it comes to congenital abnormalities of the face or if there's trauma of any sort, things like that. Uh, that's just the my me simplifying it, but it's still to pass those examinations. I can actually do a little a little um a little video on, on how I went about studying for the MRCS examination if anybody wants out there. So that's about it for now.